Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you're joining me and a friend as we head off down an abandoned railway. So we're starting from this absolutely beautiful place here, this is Weston, just on the outskirts of Oswestry, which itself is lovely with an old mill building and Weston pools, but then you throw in this stream and the little bridge of the abandoned railway. I mean, how perfect and iconic is this as something from a hundred years ago or almost, especially of the old mill building. So we're heading, I think, about six miles, maybe a little bit longer, uh, down the railway lines here to a place called Porth of Wine, which, again, we won't go too much into the details because anybody who's not local won't really know where any of these places are, but we're going at the back of Lunkless and Dolgok, uh, past the Lime Kiln pub to the Port of Wine, uh, sort of in the direction of Lanny Bloodwell. There, right, we've got that, the general locations and my mangling of the Welsh pronunciations out of the way. So, something that I've been doing recently is trying to document a lot of these random abandoned places and just really make a note and make a video record of the condition and what they look like right now at this point in history. As I've said in other videos, I've been doing this on another stretch of railway line and the old abandoned Montgomery Canal and even places like Brigunton Hall which is a local mansion that's being torn down and all sorts is going on up there and these are places and moments in time that are being lost forever and because in general so many people don't even know a lot of these places exist even in the local area it's just nice to actually try and get them all recorded and documented for the future and for generations to come perhaps to be able to look and go, oh yeah, so that was the railway. Or perhaps they'll be able to look at this, absolutely love this with all the moss, a bit of a jungle sort of environment looking almost. Um, we're about to see Lunkless Pool as well for anyone who knows the local area. Again, I mean, just beautiful areas, beautiful place to go walking. But... If this line ever did get reopened properly, then this would also serve that purpose of the before and after shots. We've got a few metal railway sleepers here, mixed in with the stone and the wooden ones. Can't say I've seen too many of the metal ones about, to be honest. So we're heading towards Lunkless and Dolgok at this point. And what I really have enjoyed about following the railway lines, or as you're about to see in any moment now, about here, where sometimes there's literally no sign of the railway lines or the track or anything whatsoever. One of the things I've really enjoyed is that after years of boating around the local area, biking around the local area, walking around the local area, although admittedly not fetching a boat out into this particular area, but being able to follow the lines and take these really straight lines that go just cut straight across the country whereas the roads and canals obviously weave around and go all over the place. It's been eye-opening and it's really changed how how much distance I feel there is between certain places. Oh, just had to stop to take a picture of this really, really old abandoned car. I mean, look at that. How long's that been sat there? But yeah, having these massive straight lines that just cut straight across the countryside rather than following the contours of the hills and that sort of stuff really has been eye-opening and really sort of made me think and sort of you come to some points and realize where you are as you're walking out and me and my friend are like no way we can't possibly be here already or no that, that doesn't seem right and again it's that total different perspective on travel and how you view the countryside and the relation of one town to another and village to village and again i mean something that i love again is that it's such a rural area as we're heading out of shropshire into wales here and it gets hillier and hillier the further towards the coast that you get but you can see from all these pictures how there's a few big roads that pass overhead every now and then and one that passes below the tracks but apart from that it's just greenery it's just rural it's just proper beautiful countryside and that's something that as many of you who watch my videos may know i do like getting out and about in the countryside but having a proper sort of solid path with a really for a huge huge percentage of the way a really good solid underfoot sort of surface to walk on and as I say, cutting these direct lines really is 
a nice, pleasant experience to a totally different way to get out into the same sort of places that I've loved for so long, really. So, yeah, ultimately, I've got to say I really do thoroughly enjoy it. I think this is the Tanit Valley line that we've reached here, and this is where we'll draw our video to a close. Got a couple of engines here, and goodness knows these, I believe, are not sure if those carriages are ones I've seen on the actual commissioned working railway lines that lay the tracks or do something of that nature. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this little walk. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed the sights. And please do consider uh, subscribing and checking out my other videos for more like this. And also, if you're really interested or from the local area, please do check out my short boat life books available for the Kindle, all about my life living for a few years on the local canals. Until the next time, though, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it line-worthy, keep it interesting, and of course, my friends, farewell.